Welcome to Whiteboard Programming. We'll be simplified programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos and today I'll be sharing with you skills needed to become a blockchain developer. I'll be dividing the skills required into two segments, one for non-technical person so you know where to start your blockchain journey and other for someone who's technical enough to understand the ABCs of blockchain industry. So let's get started. First batch of skills is for someone who's starting from scratch. Number 1. Command Line While getting used to command line is essential for any budding software developer, at first it can be seem like geeky. But once you get used to it, let me tell you, you won't ever work without it. The best place to start is by learning on a Unix or a Linux command line interface. And if you have a Mac, the CLI is Unix based so the built-in terminal is great to start. And if you're using a Windows machine, try using Sigwin Linux emulator, link for which is there in the description below. Do remember that main point for learning a command line interface is to learn how to interact with computer using commands rather than point and click interface. Number 2. JavaScript JavaScript is primarily an internet language. It's supported by every web browser available and most web pages have at least some JavaScript running on them. It's a client-side scripting language, so the code is sent to the client, that is web browser, which performs the computation, that is in contrast to PHP, for example, where the computation is done on the server and the resulting markup is sent to the client. There are many free resources to learn JavaScript that are just a Google search away and would help you get started with it quite easily. Number 3. Node.js Node.js is an open-source, cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside of the web browser. Node.js enables developers to write server-side application with JavaScript. The breadth of the framework which runs on Node.js allows any form of application to be created and be deployed on top of a node. And not many people know this, but many blockchain frameworks are built on top of Node.js. Number 4 Blockchain Basics Once you're familiar with the first three steps, it's time to jump into blockchain technology and learn the basics. Try learning answer to the questions like what is blockchain, how does it work, what are the consensus mechanisms, what is a node, what is a smart contract, etc. Understanding the basics to these questions is vital to create useful blockchain application. You can also subscribe to my channel to stay updated as I frequently publish content related to blockchain and share various other technology tutorials as well. So, by now you've got some coding experience but don't know where to start with blockchain. To become a blockchain professional, you need to gain some blockchain specific skills. These are the skills needed to start developing solutions on blockchain and more specifically the Ethereum ecosystem. Number 5. Solidity Solidity is an object-oriented programming language for writing smart contracts. It is used for implementing smart contracts on various blockchain platforms, most notably Ethereum. And if you have experience with JavaScript, C++ or any other modern object-oriented language, the syntax of Solidity will be easy to pick up as it is heavily influenced by these languages. Also. Do note that smart contracts are immutable. By that I mean that it is an object whose state cannot be modified after it is created. So instead of incrementally improving your smart contract with new releases, once a smart contract is deployed, it cannot be changed. Further, you can also think of smart contract as a monument designed to stand the test of time. The documentation provided by Ethereum Foundation provides us a thorough explanation of how to write smart contracts using the Solidity language. I've shared the link for the same in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Number 6. Web3.js Web3.js is a collection of libraries that allows you to interact with local or remote Ethereum node using an HTTP or IPC connection. Web3 bridges the gap between the traditional internal and the decentralized world. It's used to connect an Ethereum blockchain to a client browser, usually through a browser extension like Metamask. Unfortunately, the most common web browsers don't support Web3 out of the box, which is the reason for having to use Metamask for this purpose. 
The Web3 library is easily installed into JavaScript project and allows your decentralized application to run and retrieve information to and from a blockchain defined by the user. Further, local, testnet and ethereum mainnet can be connected through metamask and web3.js. Number 7. Truffle Suit The Truffle Suit gets developers from idea to decentralized application as comfortably as you can think. Truffle is a framework which facilitates the development, testing and deployment of full-stack decentralized applications. It comes with a few amazing parts to it, which include, first, the framework itself. It provides a great development environment where you can write and deploy smart contracts within minutes. Its testing framework is also easy to use with a choice of both Solidity and JavaScript to test your smart contracts with and also deployment to any test network or the main network from the command line is super easy. The next is a local RPC blockchain called Ganesh. Ganesh allows you to start a local blockchain in your development environment with just two clicks and makes developing decentralized applications on your machine extremely easy. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.